Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In this video, I wanted to have a closer look at all of the trade skill gear drop locations, because a lot has changed with the July update. I have had many people requesting I update this guide, so here it is. I will not be including the gathering gear this time simply because it drops from everywhere, and you can easily, using crafting mods, simply add the desired gathering perk to any gear. So with that said, let's just get into it. But before I begin, there will be timestamps of course. So if you're looking for a particular set, or a piece from a set, jump ahead to your desired timestamp to save watching the entire video. With the changes in the July update, you can now receive a pattern when you're opening aptitude crates. This pattern is unique in that it requires no materials, and you can use it to craft any piece of the set associated with it. You simply take the pattern to the outfitter station and craft the piece of set you are missing. These patterns exist for every refining, gathering, and crafting trade skill set, and can be obtained in this fashion now. However, the drop rate is low and the cost of grinding aptitude is high. So although I want you to know this is always an option, these sets do still drop in the world. So let's have a look at where they drop. So we will begin with refining sets. The Tanner set. This set can of course drop from any mob in the world. However, there are some bosses who have a very high chance of dropping pieces of it. So you can farm those bosses to focus farm the pieces you need from this set. We will be only looking at the Gear Score 500 Epic variant of this set in this video. There is of course a green variant of this set which does exactly the same thing and drops off of any mobs in the world. So the chest drops off Taser Jaw. This mob spawns in Everfall, in Raven Ridge in the Alligator Habitat. The helm drops off Luca in East Alerman in the Shattered Mountains. The gloves don't have a boss you can farm them from particularly. These you will get from farming any mob in the open world. The Pants. You can farm these by farming Mazral the Herald in the Great Cleave, specifically in the Mangled Heights and Balebay Maw. And the Boots. The Boots drop off of any mob in the world and don't have a boss that you should farm specifically for them. And next up, the Weaver Set. For the Helm, you will want to farm Farley, found in the Skysong Crypt in Ebonscale Reach. For the Chest, you will want to farm Nasher. You can find this mob in the Serenity Monastery in Evanscale Reach. For the gloves, you will farm Penny, found in the Storm Court shipment in Evanscale Reach. For the pants, do a Shen the Unstoppable, found of course in the Shattered Mountain in the Spileo Cavern. For the shoes, Airlander, you can find this mob in the North Palace Shrine in Evanscale Reach. For the woodworker set, To farm the helm you will now be wanting to kill Slayer Rosalind, of course found in Skysong Crypt in Evanscale Reach. For the chest, Overseer Levy, found in Upper Svikin in the Shattered Mountain. For the gloves, you will want to farm Borvarn. You can find this mob in the North Palace Shrine in Evanscale Reach. For the pants, Z-Wang the Immovable, found of course in the Spileo Cavern in the Shattered Mountains. For the boots, Daisy the Dancing Bear, found in the Imperial Palace in Evanscale Reach. For the Smelter Set, the Smelter Set can't be farmed of course in this manner, you do get it from Aptitude Crates only. Moving on to the Stonecutter Set. For the Helm for this set, you will want to farm Arch Magister Volcus. You can find this mob in Opulence in the Shattered Mountain. For the chest, Iron Cast Ingvald. You can find this mob in Mistwater Thorpe in Reekwater. For the gloves, the Discipline of Disorder, of course found in the Upper Harrow in the Shattered Mountains. For the pants, Mordecai the Mortician, of course found in Skysong Crypt in Evanscale Reach. For the boots, you're going to want to farm Smooth Boar Samuel. You can find this mob in Maria's Rest in Reekwater. That's it for the refining sets, and now let's have a look at the crafting gear sets. For the weaponsmithing set, to farm the helm you will want to kill High Priest Osaguera, found in the Great Cleave in Hello Visage. For the chest you will want to farm Artifacts Fatum, you can find this mob in Upper Harrow in the Shattered Mountain. For the gloves, Juna, found in Profane Prospect in Eden Grove. For the pants you will want to farm Articulon the Unshackled, this guy has two potential spawn locations. First in the Great Cleave in the Mangled Heights. Second in the Great Cleave in the Nihilo Visage. For the boots you will want to farm Sessa in the Serenity Sanctuary in Evanscale Reach. And next up the Armorer Set. The Armorer Set of course comes in a Tier 4 and Tier 5 variant. 
but now the Tier 4 set is only obtainable from the patterns found in the Aptitude Crates. The Tier 5 set, however, can still be farmed. For the Helm, you will want to farm Leviathan of the Deep found in Mbutsi Superior in the Shattered Mountains. For the Chest, you will want to kill the Siren's Fist, found in Forecastle Drift in Reekwater. For the Gloves, the Siren's Guide, in Forecastle Drift in Reekwater once again. And for the Pants, the Siren's Gun, and once again, Forecastle Drift in Reekwater. And for the Boots, you will want to farm the Abiogenesis, found in Malevolence in Eden Grove. Next up, the engineering sets. Once again, the tier 4 variant of this set is now only obtainable from the aptitude crate patterns. However, the tier 5 set can still be farmed. And for the helm, you will want to kill the Caminus Gate Lord, found in Caminus in the Great Cleave. For the chest, you will want to farm Mirepaw, found in the Congregation in Rakewater. For the gloves, you will want to farm the Lost Alchemist Crocs, found in Mosswater Berg in Rakewater. For the pants, Overseer Levy found in Caminus in the Shattered Mountain. For the shoes, you will want to farm Isvari, found in Isvari's Isolation in Eden Grove. And next, the Jewel Crafter sets. And once again, the Tier 4 set, the Mixer set, is only now obtainable from the patterns from the Aptitude Crates. However, the Tier 5 set is still farmable. For the Helm, you will want to kill Putris, found in Mosswater Berg in Rakewater. For the chest, you will want to farm Ivan the Inevitable, found of course in Skysong Crypt in Ebonscale Reach. For the gloves, you will want to farm Palace Maiden Zhao, found in the Imperial Palace in Ebonscale Reach. For the pants, you will be farming a Georgian, found in the Grasping Summit in Neaton Grove. For the boots, Terror of the Mountain, you will find this mob in Spelunker's Demise in the Shattered Mountain. And for the Arcana set, once again, like all the other sets, the Tier 4, the Arcanist set, can only be obtained from receiving the pattern from Aptitude Crates now. However, the Tier 5 set can still be farmed. The Helm you will receive by farming Banes in the Genesis of Malevolence in Eden Grove. The Chest you can get from Prince Gorado. You can find this mob from the Imperial Palace in Ebonscale Reach. For the Gloves, you will want to farm Entropy, found in Malevolence in Eden Grove. For the pants, the Siren's Dog, found in the Siren's Strand in Reekwater. For the shoes, you will want to kill Kale, found in Malevolence in Eden Grove. And moving on now to the Chef set. This set comes both from farming and from the patterns found in your cooking aptitude crates. Considering how easy it is to get cooking aptitude crates, I will suggest you probably farm it in that fashion. But if you are looking to get it from drops, you can get it from the following locations. The Helm comes from Skysong Maiden Ping, found in the Skysong Temple in Evanscale Reach. For the chest, you will want to kill Viri Dullan the Rotbound, found in the Internal Pool in Reekwater. For the gloves, the Unhallowed Soul of Murkgaard, found in Old Murkgaard Forest in the Great Cleave. For the pants, you will want to kill Fae the Last Protector, found of course in Spryla Tower in the Shattered Mountains. And for the shoes, Pit Lord Dehi is who you'll want to farm, found in West Alurman in the Shattered Mountains. Okay guys, that's the list. I didn't include the Vengeful Fishing set in this list because it got changed so that it both comes from fishing aptitude crates as well as been made a random world drop just like the rest of the gathering sets. So there wasn't much point in me listing piece after piece as a world drop. Now, I do hope this answers all of your questions and requests I've been getting around crafting gear and the changes. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.